Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope today finds you in the very best of spirits and of health. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. If you'd like to have a topic discussed, let me know in the comment section or email me at ladyboulay8596 at aol.com. On the screen is the head of the Statue of Liberty. Some call her the Green Lady. Some call her Lady Liberty. To African Americans, that statue doesn't mean very much. If you go to New York on a sightseeing tour, you might go out to the New York Harbor and see the statue. You may even go into the statue, go all the way up to the head of the statue. And now you've got something to tell. We took a boat out to the Statue of Liberty. We went into the statue all the way up to the head. And boy, that was a lot of steps. But it doesn't mean a whole lot to African Americans. And the reason is because we probably don't know from whence the statue came. So we don't know the significance of the statue as it relates to African Americans. On the base of the statue is a plaque with the poem, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. That poem has been turned into a song, a romantic, haunting song. That's supposed to be a song of freedom, welcoming immigrants, immigrants from Europe, to the United States. The message is, this is your refuge. You have found freedom. And we have been told that that's why the statue is there, to welcome immigrants to the United States. To the country, it stands out in the water in New York Harbor. This lady holding the torch and the tablet and is welcoming the ships that come in. Come, come, homeless white people to America. This is your new home. We welcome you. And so that's what the Statue of Liberty symbolizes for most people. The only problem is, that's not the original purpose of that statue. That Give Me Your Tired, Your Poor poem was added about 20 years after the statue was erected. It was not a part of the original structure. The statue was given to the United States as a gift from France. It was dedicated on October 28, 1886. At the feet of the statue is a broken shackle and chain. And she walks forward commemorating the recent national abolition of slavery. This gift was given to the country to symbolize African Americans' freedom from slavery. It is a statue of freedom, but that freedom was not about immigrants. It was the freedom of slavery of African Americans from slavery. And like many things that America does, America took the glory of the statue away from black people and made it something about white people. This gigantic figure is welcoming Europeans. It was not about Africans or Asians. It was about welcoming Europeans. That's what America turned it into. And as much as they kick against the critical race theory, this is what the critical race theory says. The interests of white people were advanced at the expense of other races. Now, how much good would it have done? How much would it have lifted the spirits of those formerly enslaved people to know that somebody had honored them in that way? They had given a statue in commemoration of their freedom. That would have done a lot for the spirits of those formerly enslaved people. But America wouldn't give them that. America has a very bad habit of diminishing or trying to downgrade anything to do with black people, particularly if it has to do with another nation. I'm not sure what the year was. It might have been 1983 or 1993. A group of West African leaders came to the United Nations and they wanted to speak 
to the American people, African American people, and they wanted to apologize for the role that their ancestors played in the transatlantic slave trade because those African governments were complicit in capturing and selling their countrymen to the British, the French, the Spanish, the Portuguese, anybody that came looking for slaves. But America would not let them do it. And not only that, the Africans say, they tell African Americans that when they are applying for visas to come to the United States, they are advised not to have any kind of relationship with African Americans. So when we see this hostility and all of this arrogance coming from Africans, many of them fell for the okie doke. But that's what they're advised by the American embassy and the people who make a decision about whether or not they can come. In my home state of Alabama, the Confederate flag flew atop the Capitol Dome in Montgomery for a long time. As far back as the 1980s, black politicians in Alabama began complaining about that flag and they wanted it to come down and they made a big noise about it. One politician, Thomas Reed, even attempted to get on top of the Capitol and take it down, and he was arrested. And it stayed up for some time after that, but then all of a sudden the flag came down. And black Alabamians didn't know why the flag came down, because sometimes you just have to leave things alone. As the old saints used to say, let the Lord work it out. But anyway, the flag came down. I didn't understand why it came down, and I keep abreast of a lot of the things, but I'm like, okay, they brought the flag down. What's going on? It took Chris Matthews on MSNBC years later to clear up the mystery. There is a Mercedes plant in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Germany is the manufacturing country of Mercedes, so Mercedes is a German-made car. They said they were not going to bring it to, to Alabama as long as the Confederate flag was flying over the state. They called it the flag of tyranny, I believe. And mysteriously and very quickly, that flag came down. That plant has been a blessing to the West Alabama region. But the Germans took a stand. They didn't tell us that. Chris Matthews had to, that had to come out on a news forum. So America does not like for African Americans to think that anybody cares or thinks anything about us but the world is watching is something about black americans they don't want to acknowledge what was done and they don't want anybody else to acknowledge it because if you don't say anything it didn't happen except that it did happen the way this country was put together the skills that were involved to bring about this economy the understanding of weather of climate the rotation of the earth, the time for planting and harvesting the crops, only those Africans knew that. There is one thing that I want my fellow African Americans to understand. No other race of people on the planet could have done what those Africans did for this country. I wish America would just be honest about what was done to black people for hundreds of years. And if you're not going to apologize for it, at least acknowledge it. Because really, it's too late to try to cover it up. The world knows. The word is out. We have social media now, so everybody knows everybody's business. And the transatlantic slave trade is something that's way too pervasive to try to cover up or ignore. So in my mind, just acknowledge it. Because black people pretty much have gone on with their lives. Because we were always going to survive it. It's scriptural, it's prophecy, and it's providence. Nothing was going to stop us from going into slavery. And nothing was going to stop us from coming out. We were always going to survive. So I wanted to do this little quick video about the Statue of Liberty. Hopefully, we will start looking at Lady Liberty differently because Lady Liberty was about our liberty, our freedom from slavery. And although our ancestors did not get the benefit of knowing that this was given in their honor, now we know. And so now we can have a new appreciation 
for our history because we actually have accomplished something really great. Everybody knows that. America knows it. But for whatever reason, America doesn't want to acknowledge it. But we have to acknowledge it. We have to know the role we played in America. We have to know that nobody else could have done what our ancestors did here. They were called to do this. Maybe in another video, I will go into why they had to go into captivity. But if you listen to the redirecting channel, Sister Deborah goes into that. We went into captivity for a reason. They were supposed to do this. They did it, and they did it excellently. And I think that that's what we have to do uh, to honor them going forward. As opposed to looking back and grieving, we have to claim the victory and move on. The Statue of Liberty was given to America from France to commemorate the liberation of African people from slavery. So, thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.